Okay, welcome to splitting LOPs. So this video is about splitting geometry in LOPs. It's not exactly intuitive how to do this, but it is fairly straightforward. And it's something that we do occasionally need to do. Geometry comes in in a variety of formats, USD geometry or Olympics or whatever. And we need to be able to sometimes split them out, perhaps to apply different materials or to remove certain parts or to mat certain parts or whatever. So very useful skill. So we'll start just by adding a sublayer to bring in some geometry. And I'm just going to grab the file. So on my desktop, I have this little lamp geometry. It's just a very simple little piece of geo. And I'm going to split the lamp shade from the lamp base. Uh, before I proceed, it is important to know that this will not work prior to Houdini 18.5.605 due to a bug. So to this sublayer, I need to add a salt modify. And we'll notice that the SOP modify has two tabs. One export to SOPs, so inside of here is going to be SOPs. And then export from SOPs. So we'll start with export to SOPs. We definitely want to export our particular piece of geometry. So this is lamp model UV into the primitive path. And of course, we need to unpack USD primitives to polygons so that we can manipulate those polygons down in SOP mode. Once we've done that, we can jump down into Sop Modify. We have our input and our output, and in between there, we want to create an attribute. So, tab, attribute, create. And we're going to create a group of polys in here. So, we're going to change the group type to primitives. And we can select the group just by clicking on a little arrow, and then we're free to grab and select the geometry that we want. I want this upper geo here. And when I hit enter, you'll see I get a group. I'm going to give the attribute a name. I'm just going to call it lamp. Then I have to change the class of attribute to primitive and the type to integer. And down here, I'm going to set the value to a 1. I can jump back up to the SOP modify, and I'm going to go to the import from SOP. So we're importing from that SOP environment inside. Expand the import data. What we want to do is turn on attributes and add our attribute name, lamp. Now we will add a split primitive node. And we're going to split the primitive by the attribute that we just added. So once again, we'll set our primitive path to the lamp. The split mode is going to be primbar. And we'll give it our name, lamp. And now, over here in the stage, you can see that where there was previously only a single lamp geo, now we have lamp zero and lamp one. And we can operate on those as we normally would. And that's really all there is to it. 